I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen. That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking I will not let about? you bark orders at me! I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Come on, Croft. You can do better than you that. Mother... Ah! Ah, you could never handle a fair fight, could you? Deal with your friend! She'll get us all you killed! You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck this up! Are you up. looking forward to it? You've made your point, Croft. You mind shutting up about it? I'm about ready to leave both of you behind. You take care of this, Asher. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mister, anyway! what the hell is going on? You gonna lecture me too? Oh, oh. Oh. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do! I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen! That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells? I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Come on, Croft. You can do better than that. Mother... Ah! Ah, you could never handle a fair fight, could you? Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. You've made your point, Croft. You mind shutting up about it? I'm about ready to leave both of you behind. You take care of this, Asher. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mister, anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <sighs> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Unfortunately, we have to listen to him, even if he is an arsehole. He's in charge of this mission, and what he says goes... He's not in charge of me. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <laughs> You're the only reason I'm even fucking here. You told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! You did this. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. You wanna help? Is this what you want? I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. 
When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But it made you strong, didn't it? You say that like it makes it worth it. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Here. Yeah. Thank you, little brother. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on, you've had enough. Let me take that. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira! I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend. But then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I have some business to take care of. That's all you need to know. Some business? Just trust me. Look. I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. You're on your own. If you don't help me, I'll tell everyone your secret. I told you that in confidence. You'd really use that against me. I would. Fine. I'll get you into that party. But after that, you're on your own. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. I don't care much for flattery, my lord. Well then. I'll be sure to spare you any further compliments. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget 
Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwin! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> oh, really? My That's ears are that. not we delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. Stop it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? I'm sorry. I, I, um, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That and... is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Lady Mira, I'm 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 impressed. Impressed. Uh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Impressed. I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. I noticed you and Andros arguing earlier. I'm sorry you had to see that. I told him it was not the time. What were you arguing about, if you don't mind my asking? Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Ah. Shit! You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm 
I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. I'm curious about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. I might, if I have to. I'm quite serious, Mira. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the Blackwater. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? 